Psychic coming back at you again with another video. Okay, people, I felt that it's necessary to do this video. Kevin Anderson deserves to have at least one video done on him. I don't think he deserves uh, three to four, like uh, two, three, four, five videos, like a uh, Djokovic, like a uh, Nadal would get, and like I'm going to do on Nadal after I finish the Djokovic. I already done two on the Djokovic. I've done thousands on Federer. But I do think Kevin Anderson deserves this one video it may not be that long, but Kevin Anderson deserves this one video from the Magic Man, for sure. And he's probably going to get some more in the future if he keeps up the good work. Okay, people, Kevin Anderson. Last year, Kevin Anderson was in the final of the U.S. Open. He lost. He he got he got blasted by Nadal. So everybody just wrote that off. That okay, Kevin Anderson, some way, uh, you know, whether it was easy draw or whatever. I heard the credits. He some way made it to the final, and then he got put in his place. Yes, by Rafael Nadal, a high level Nadal. So everybody pretty well, you know, they're not taking the Kevin Anderson thing seriously. So Kevin Anderson. Um, I know he wants. Uh, uh, I know he won like the what the New York Open or whatever this year. But I'm gonna jump past all that. Kevin Anderson shows back up in the Wimbledon final 2018. Um, he has one of the longest matches of all time uh, with Isner in the semis that goes 24. Uh, 26. Kevin Anderson showing heart, but even before that, he comes back from 2-0. We know Federer was level tripping, but it doesn't matter. You got to give Kevin Anderson credit. So here's the deal. Even though we know Federer level may have dropped, see, here's the deal. Those guys who are lesser players than Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic, what a lot of those players uh, are not able to do is when those guys, three guys, the Djokovic, Federer, and Nadal play at a lesser level, they can't beat them. That's when you want to be able to beat them. And Kevin Anderson, he is at that level of greatness that if Nadal, the Djokovic, or Federer plays a little less than high level, Kevin Anderson will beat you. Okay, all right, and um, so now somebody made me say, well, Magic Man, do you think Kevin Anderson could win the U.S. Open? Do you think Kevin Anderson going to win that major? People, let me just tell you, the only thing Kevin Anderson doesn't have, he doesn't have the super level, meaning if Federer, Nadal, and the Djokovic, what you saw the Djokovic do to Kevin Anderson in the final, straight sets the Djokovic beat Kevin Anderson. Why did the Djokovic beat him? It's only one reason why. Because the Djokovic is in the super level mode. And Kevin Anderson, he got a good, strong level, but it ain't the super level. It's a, it's sort of a high level, but it ain't the, it's a good Kevin Anderson level. It's a high Kevin Anderson level, but it's not that super level that Federer has, that the Djokovic has, that Nadal has, that Warinka can get to. That, that Warinka has gotten to and that Andy Mary has gotten to. And so, uh, so Kevin Anderson, he's not going to win a major if those other guys, if, if the other big fives, definitely the three that are already playing well, if they play at the super level, super, super level, Kevin Anderson won't beat them. But I will say this here. This is where Kevin Anderson is a threat, though is that if those three guys, the Djokovic, like I just said, Federer and Nadal, are not on the super level, uh, Kevin Anderson is good enough and confident now to beat him. So in that regard, you must take him seriously. Plus, Kevin Anderson is now number five in the world, people. You get what I'm saying? You better take him seriously. Anybody that's number five in the world, like and, 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 and also, Kevin Anderson, not only is he number five in the world, people, I believe Kevin Anderson now has reached a level. He's a threat in every major, somewhat. Let me tell you why. Because if the Djokovic or Federer or one of those guys get upset, or all those guys get upset, Kevin Anderson is probably next in line, okay, to win the major. I mean, it used to be like Adele Potro, 
or a Chilich, but a Kevin Anderson, he's right there. Even though he hasn't won that uh, that major yet, like a, a Del Potro or a Chilich, he's been in the final twice, so I can pretty well put Kevin Anderson. He's definitely right now on the level of Del Potro and Chilich. He's not under that, for sure. Okay? And um, let me see if there's anything else about Kevin Anderson I want to say. Yeah, and he, he and is he now, let me ask this question. Let me ask this question. Is he a favorite? Uh, for the uh, for the U.S. Open, yeah, he's. A, I would say he's definitely in the top five. I put him. Maybe I could put him number four. He could possibly be number four if somebody put Kevin. I, I I can't put him ahead of Federer. Say we got. Say if we got. I'm just gonna make up this. I'm not saying this is the order I would put it, but off the top of my head, uh, let's say the Djokovic, Nadal. Some people could say Nadal, the Djokovic, but let's say those two. Then Federer number three. I can't put Kevin Anderson over Federer. I mean, I'm just not. I don't care. Uh, until Federer goes out, Federer to me is still would be at least number three favorite for the U.S. Open. Okay. Especially if he wanted to sit in that way. Federer wanted to sit in that Somebody can make him number one. I mean, favorite don't mean you're going to win it, but I'm just saying that. But I'll do another video on who I think's the favorite for the U.S. Open and stuff here. But we need to look at the Montreal and the Cincinnati on that. But let's get back to Kevin Anderson. Yeah, we got to get Kevin Anderson props. Because you know what I like about Kevin Anderson? He didn't just uh, show up in the U.S. Open final last year and lose and then disappear. And you never hear of Kevin Anderson. Anderson again. Kevin Anderson made sure that you that his name was put back out in the media by beating Federer, uh, twenty-time uh, champion Federer, eight-time Wimbledon champion Federer. Kevin Anderson made sure that y'all heard from him again. Then he backed it up again by uh, going twenty-six, beating Isner twenty-six, twenty-four in the Wimbledon, and then he backed it up again by being in the final. Yes, he lost, but he let y'all know. No, that little uh, U.S. Open final was not some luck stuff that he is for real. And he backed it up even more by becoming number five in the world. Okay. Tennis preacher Kevin Anderson is for real. Tennis prophet, tennis psychic. Have a good one.